now in this lecture we learn that how to divide different algebraic expressions division is inverse operation of multiplication like if we can simply write multiplication of 6 into 9 is equal to 54 so division means the inverse operation means if we put 54 divided by 6 Okay, that becomes equal to 9 or if we have 54 divided by 9 it becomes equal to 6 that's how the division is uh, inverse operation of multiplication similarly for algebraic expressions we can write like a into b is equal to c if this is the algebraic expression so c divided by a will be equal to b or c divided by b equal to a we can take example of another algebraic expression that is if we take 2x into 3x square that will be equal to 6x cube so if we want to divide 6x cube by 2x this will be equal to 3x square also if 6x cube is divided by 3x square it becomes equal to 2x so we shall now look closely how the division of one expression by another can be arrived at the first case is division of a monomial by another monomial we take the first case as the division of a monomial by another monomial that is single terms is 6x cube divided by 2x this we can simply write as 6x cube by 2x now we can write the factors of this 2 into 3 into x into x into x divided by 2 into x now we cut out the common factors that is 2 by 2 x by x and remaining term is 3 into x into x by obviously 1 it becomes 3x square so we get the result of the division we can also use law of indices to carry out the division process. We take 6x cube divided by 2x. This we can simply write as 2 into 3x cube divided by 2 into x. We take out this arithmetic expression. It becomes equal to 3x cube. x can be written as x raised to the power 1. Also we remember that 1 by x raised to the power 1 is equal to x raised to the power minus 1. So we use this. We use this. Uh, so we use this uh, law of indices to get this term equal to 3x cube into x raised to the power minus 1. When two indices are multiplied, 3 is taken out this becomes x cube into x raised to the power minus 1 so when two numbers with indices with the same base are multiplied the indices are simply added that is 3 x raised to the power 3 minus 1 becomes equal to 3 x square so using law of indices we can simply divide the two algebraic monomial expressions taking another example of the division that is slightly larger one that is 63 a square b raised to the power 4 c raised to the power 6 if we divide 7 a square b square c raised to the power 3 this can be written as 63 a square b raised to the power 4 c raised to the power 6 all divided by 7 a square b square c cube 
if you expand all in factors it would be really clumsy and lengthy to do it so we simply use the law of indices that is and take the arithmetic expressions out that is 6, 3 by 7 into now we see the right a and see the powers of a that we just look into the law of indices for division so it is 2 minus 2 into b raised to the power 4 is on the top 2 is in the denominator so minus 2 into c raised to the power 6 divided by c raised to the power 3 this becomes minus 3 the arithmetic expression gets simplified 7 9 times 63 into a raised to the power 0 into b raised to the power 2 into c raised to the power 3 a raised to the power 0 is 1 so the result becomes 9 b square c cube so using law of indices simply we can divide these two monomials so we come to the operation of division of a polynomial by a monomial come to an example that is 4y cube plus 5y square plus 6y and this complete thing divided by 2y now the division can be carried out in the following way that is 4y cube plus 5y square plus 6y divided by 2y now we divide each term of the polynomial by 2y it can be expressed as 4y cube by 2y plus 5y square by 2y plus 6y by 2y now this complete thing can be written as 2y square plus 5 by 2 y plus 3 this is the result of the division now the third case is the division of a polynomial by a polynomial for example we take 7 x square plus 14 x this is to be divided by x plus 2 now we can be this can be expressed as 7x square plus 14x divided by x plus 2. Here, here we have to factorize the numerator. We see that it can be factorized using the common factor. The common factor is 7x. So, this becomes x plus 2 divided by x plus 2. The x plus 2 gets cancelled out the result comes equal to 7x so for the division of algebraic expression where both numerator and denominator are polynomials the factorization is a necessary step for both of the numerator and denominator we take another example of division of a polynomial by another polynomial that is z 5 z square minus 80 this has to be divided by 5z into z plus 4 if we see the if we see both the terms the dividend and the divider the divider is already in the factor form the factors are 5z and z plus 4 while the dividend is not in the factor form we have to change this dividend into a factor form so it becomes z 5z square minus 80 this will be equal to if we look at the terms it appears that a common factor 5 can be taken out from this term we take out 5 z and it becomes equal to z square minus 16 now if when we look in the second term here the both are perfect squares and it can be expressed as 5z to z square minus 4 square using algebraic identities it becomes equal to 5z z minus 4 and z plus 4 so 
now for carrying out the division operation we can express the final terms z 5z square minus 80 this has to be divided by 5z into z plus 4 now expressing the dividend in its factor form is 5z z minus 4 and z plus 4 this has to be divided by 5z to z plus 4 now we can see 5z and 5z cancel each other z plus 4 and z plus 4 cancel each other the result of the division comes equal to z minus 4 so so today we have learned that how to divide different algebraic expressions with algebraic expressions